first of all, there were many, many different reasons and circumstances under which people um, worked for the Stasi or reported to the Stasi. Um, one of which uh, is very straightforward, is really a conviction and uh, a, a true belief in um, socialism. And um, of course that, you know, you have to see that within the wider historical context, um, which is that the GDR was founded after the Second World War. And a lot of people, um, you know, were young, they had experienced the war, and they really hoped that um, socialism would, would you know bring something new something fresh and a you know solution to um you know a better society and better living and um and that's why they really believed in the socialist cause and um you know and ensuring that people adhere to those rules um and helped the you know building a socialist state um you know that was one of the reasons that people did it um and of course, there were also a large number of people who, you know, really gained privileges from it. So sometimes the um, Stasi would offer them gifts. Um, they would offer them other privileges, you know, in terms of, um, you know, being able to get a car sooner than other people, um, being able to get housing um, sooner than um, other people, a place at university, things like that. So um, the Stasi really worked with, um, you know, those incentives to get people um, interested in working for them. Um, and uh, the other thing is just mentioning the Second World War again, there were also people, you know, who had um, quite a, you know, bad personal history so they might have been um you know involved with the nazis previously and this was their way of um you know getting into the socialist state's favor um by you know watching people writing reports on people um doing all sorts of things um and of course there were also many people who reported unknowingly so that means they might have been approached um, by somebody and just be in a casual conversation and asked something. So, for example, a very common thing would be that, you know, um, somebody from the Stasi might, you know, strike up a, a random conversation and say, oh, your neighbor, you know, um, what, what do they do? Um, do they, you know, why, why do they always come back so late at night? Do you know what's up with that? You know, things like that, just striking up a random conversation, um, getting people to answer questions um, that they might not even, you know, realize that could lead to something, um, you know, quite bad. Um, but that's how the Stasi worked. So it was really very much ingrained in, in everyday um, interaction. So some people also reported, um, unknowingly um, and of course uh, you know the the secret police had a lot of power um, and they also worked a lot with you know social pressure blackmailing people um, basically not giving them a choice um, and um, you know and people often also acted out of fear um, fear for their family fear for their reputation um, just because the, the power of the, the Stasi at that time seemed so omnipresent. So it means that it, was, it seemed to be all around and, you know, everything in their lives could be, um, you know, meddled with by the secret police. So people felt a lot of pressure. Um, but that being said, there were also many people who suspected that they were um, being approached by the Stasi and actively chose not to say something or they actively chose not to report something. Um, so as you can see, it's a very varied um, picture. Um, and uh, yeah, it really depends on individual circumstances. <laughs>